Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Imagine Your Art. Uh, this is the last one. So we've done a few art projects this summer. This is the last one. And today's artist is Jean-Michel Basquiat. He lived from 1960 to 1988. So he's a recent artist also, like some of the others that we've seen. Uh, Basquiat was an urban street painter, an American urban street painter. Uh, he is of Haitian and Puerto Rican descent. So he spoke three languages, Spanish, French, and English. And he was also a part of um, a duo of graffiti artists, and they called themselves SAMO. So that meant that they painted a lot of buildings and walls in New York City, trying to make it a little bit of a more beautiful place, maybe. I don't know. There's some differences of opinion on that. Anyway, you should probably should not paint on any of your walls or buildings uh, unless you have permission. Graffiti artists um, don't always get permission, but he caught the attention of the art world with his art, his group, SAMO, and they were looking for something new and exciting, the, the traditional art world, something really different, and they found it in the graffiti in New York City, and they found it in Basquiat as part of SAMO. So he developed a unique collage style of painting he was not always neat and clean and definitely not in the lines when he uh, worked. So his projects are really interesting. I'm going to share a little bit of our story today. This is by Yavaka Steptoe, who's the artist and illustrator, and it's called Radiant Child. This is a Caldecott winner. Um, this is Radiant Child, the story of Jean-Michel Basquiat. Let's read, I'm not gonna read the whole story, the first part is about his childhood and his dream of becoming an artist. Um, he always wanted to be an artist from a very young age, um, and his mother encouraged him. Um, so this is when he's older, when he, here, let's cross this up and read it easier. <coughs> this is when he's a little bit older, and he's determined to become a famous artist. Um, a teenager now, Jean-Michel decides, Papa, I will be a very, very famous artist one day. With a sly look and a twinkle in his eye, Jean-Michel leaves Brooklyn for New York City, the Lower East Side, a concrete jungle where only the tough survive. There it is. During the day, dressed in a green jumpsuit splattered with paint, Jean-Michel stays with friends, sleeping on couches and floors, leaving a barrage of collages and poem-filled papers wherever he goes. Busy artist. At night, Jean-Michel spray paints the walls downtown with poems and drawings that catch the eye of artists, gallery goers, and passers-by. Under his art, he signs the name Samo instead of Jean-Michel. Everybody wants to know who is Samo. Samo moves from street corners to art gallery walls with powerful color, composition, and line, collaging and painting on anything he can find. His art is still not neat or clean and definitely not inside the lines, but somehow still beautiful. With his magical charm, Jean-Michel draws a crowd, but when it's time to work, he prefers to be alone with the radio and TV on full blast. Now in expensive suits, Flattered with paint, he flips through stacks of magazines and open books and paints into the night and sometimes for days at a time while sounds and images jump into his head. Jean Michel, an artist among artists, never doubts one line, creating from a soundtrack that is all his own. People describe him as radiant, wild, a genius child, but in his heart he is king, so he draws crowns for himself and others that he admires. You see a lot of crowns in Jean-Michel's art. A grown man now with the art world in his hands, Jean-Michel still visits his mother when he can. And at his most important shows, above all the critics, fans, and artists he admires, the place of honor is his mother, his mother's a queen on a throne. He is now a famous artist. So he became the famous artist he always said he wanted to be. Um, by working hard 
and now you can find his work in museums and it sells uh, for millions of dollars. So he did become the famous artist he wanted to be. And his pictures are not what you expect from the traditional artist. Um, share some of them. This is one of his. This is Jean-Michel right here. So you can see how big some of these artworks are. A lot of bold lines, a lot of outside the lines. He uses a lot of um, anatomy in his pictures, which is interesting too. So painting from the uh, in, outside and inside out. Um, another one. It draws a lot of people, a lot of big exaggerated expressions. They are not always pleasant pictures, but they make people feel something looking at them. Another one. And that's his crown. You find a lot of crowns in a lot of his work. A lot of those bright, bold colors, a lot of lines all over the place. There's one more. So it's definitely not traditional art, but looking at it, it stirs up emotions and feelings, and a new kind of artist. So let's do some fun stuff today. We're not going to go out and draw on walls, um, because that's usually not allowed, but we can draw on sidewalks and we can draw on driveways if we have paint chalk paint. So we're going to make some chalk paint. Um, let's see. We're going to do that with what we have in the bag. So what's in the bag? Black paper, because chalk shows up well on black paper. We have a couple little cups that you can put your chalk in and some stir sticks. Stir it up. And we have cornstarch. So we're making our paint out of cornstarch and water. Also gave you a couple of oil pastels because these also show up really well on the black paper. And while we're add a little bit more color to your work, and then we have some things to stir and paint with. All right. So let's go ahead and make our chalk paint. So in the bag we already have half a cup of cornstarch. Put that in there. It's very messy. Gets all over the place. You might want to protect your surfaces a little bit, or you can do it outside. So cornstarch is just made out of corn. It's kind of like a flower, but it gets everywhere. Okay. So you have your cornstarch, and then we're going to use a half a cup of water. Just half a cup, and then you want to mix it up. it up with your plastic spoon. I've got a big spoon. Uh, it's kind of odd to mix. If it feels like a steely solid, uh, but if you stir it, keep stirring it, it becomes smooth. So, we can use this as a chalk paint, or some of you might be familiar with cornstarch and water, stirring it up to become oobleck. Cornstarch and water makes a Newtonium, Newtonian fluid, which means it is neither solid nor liquid, it's kind of both. So if you made this with a whole cup of cornstarch and a half a cup of water, it'd be a little thicker and a little slimier. Some people call that oobleck, which is a lot of fun to play with. Okay, so I stirred it up, and with a little bit in the cup, and I'm going to use two colors, so I'm going to put a little bit more in another cup. So you can leave it just the plain white, or you can give it a little bit of color. 
color. Check my surface a little bit because it gets everywhere. So to give it a little bit of color, you can put a little bit of food coloring in your paint here, or I'm going to use a little bit of liquid watercolor, or you can use some of that powdered paint. Just be careful uh, when you use it. Make sure it's not going to stain anything. So do it press spot if you're out in your driveway. All of this should wash off, but it doesn't hurt to test it. All right, so we've mixed it in. Got a little bit of paint. And I'm going to keep the white. And then to paint, you can use a paintbrush. You can use your fingers. I'm going to use a Q-tip. And when you put it on the paper, it doesn't really look like it's doing much. You can't even really see it. But keep going. It's okay if you can't see it because it dries pretty fast. Let's see if we got some more circles. Let's bring up some circles and watch what it does. So paint away. You can paint on your sidewalk, paint on your driveway, paint on your paper. And then if you wait, you can see already it's starting to darken up as it dries. Um, this looks light like that to begin with. And look how it darkened up. And you can see the color dries a little bit lighter than what you have in your cup. So if you want a darker color, make the color in your cup even darker. And you can see it's starting to, starting to dry already. And that is paint paint. Uh, you can also use your oil pastels to give it a little bit more color too, just for fun. Be careful with these also because they do smear and you don't want to get them all over your clothes either. So chalk paint, really easy to make and it's a lot of fun to use and it does dry fairly quickly. It's just really messy so be careful. And then when you're all done with your creation, even if it's outside, driveway, take a picture and send it to us. Um, you have the, the instructions. You have the instructions, the email address on your instructions. Uh, send us a copy of whatever you make and we'll add it to our art show that's coming up in just a couple weeks. So have fun with your paint, uh, share with us what you've done, and we will see you back at the library. Have a good day everybody.